In this episode, we're visiting Center County, where the Bald Eagle Area School District is turning its 500 acres of woodlands into a unique classroom for students as part of the high school's forestry program. In partnership with local industry, the district is helping students get a head start on certifications and the skills needed for careers in forestry and wildlife management. Today we're talking with Bald Eagle's high school principal along with a forestry class instructor and a recent graduate as we learn more. I think we're kind of in a unique situation here. I mean, a lot of school districts don't have the resources and the property that we have uh, available to provide these kind of programs to our students. And I think it's kind of a natural fit for our, our school and our kids. Uh, a lot of our students like to hunt. They like to spend time outdoors. They like uh, being, you know, hiking, those types of things. Um, so it's, it's a great fit and a way for us to kind of hook kids into the school. Students learned a lot of skills in the program high-end skills to make them marketable for forestry management, timber, lumber, wood production, and also conservation and natural resource management. So, I mean, there's a lot of things in the program that kids are able to do. So this is a very real world class. That's, it's not just learning how to operate a chainsaw or how to fell a tree properly. There's a lot of other skills wrapped up into that. So whenever somebody thinks of a forester in general, there's actually a lot more that goes into the training behind that. We get on the tractor with the trailer and we head to whatever location or activities we're doing that day. A lot of the times we are running the sawmill or felling trees, bucking them up, loading them up, taking them to the sawmill um, as a group. Um, there are days where we are in a classroom discussing things, learning other things, but I would say about 75% of our time is outside of a building somewhere. Um, one of the unique things that we do with our program in conjunction with our wood shop is uh, we're going to provide, I just asked Mr. Thompson, roughly about 90% of the wood that we utilize in our furniture construction classes and our intro to wood classes uh, comes from our property here at the school. So uh, that's a huge savings for the school district right now, especially with the cost of lumber. I was specifically interested in the amount of certifications that we were going to earn, so the Class 3 driver's license with the tractor, uh, chainsaw, the Sustainable Forestry Initiative. That's all a lot of things that are super relevant to the major that I'm going to be entering into. And one of those certifications actually scored me a pretty good grant for schools. Uh, one of the things that guides our programs, our advisory committee, it's a, a cross-section of people, post-secondary, education people, administrators, teachers, students, community members, business members, and various community leaders that uh, get together biannually. Uh, the hands-on aspect and the fact that these kids want to learn or do learn differently than others. Um, we have them going to secondary colleges here and there. We have them entering the workforce. We have them going for associate and bachelor's degrees in anything, again, from forestry to wildlife management to environmental protection. Um, but I also believe with the forest entry in the area, we have the, they have the ability to leave here and enter right into either apprenticeship in those areas or go right to the workforce directly. Mm -hmm. 